since I have been very happy with the Jimitsu L8 20 watt laser, I decided on April 13th to go ahead and order the 40 watt laser so I would have both and could have all the options available to me. I received the laser, I installed it per their instructions. They give you a little video to follow for installing it, and it's not a hard process, just it is a process. So it's not something that you would want to be doing. Uh, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. It's not that easy. It takes little time. And you have to align everything once you get it set up. And so I set it up and decided to just test it on a small project that was right in the center. I thought I had it aligned just the way it should be. I tested it on the little project and it turned out really good. It wasn't as deep as I hoped it would be with a 3D effect and it did make the project properly and so I wasn't upset, just a little disappointed in the depth, which I know I can figure that out. These are pictures of some of the problems and the following videos are videos of the interchange between me and Zane Smart. I decided to just cut a line and as you can see there's definitely a problem. I went back in to check the alignment and as you can see it is completely off again. I kept playing and moving it and doing the best that I could to get it to where it was as close as I could get it again. I set it up to cut another piece of paper, drew my line in light burn. I added the line and followed it completely so it's perfect and then I told it to cut it and this is what I got. I did it a second time just to make sure that it wasn't a fluke uh, and it isn't. It was just the same. It is crooked. I went back in and tried to straighten it the best that I could. Followed your video again. Started from scratch. Aligned it. Added your laser file which makes it even more crooked now for some reason and then I used the numbers at the top to align it as good as I could and sorry I forgot to take the picture but it was off again. I went back in, adjusted the little base based on how it was slanted and went through the alignment process completely again and ended up with the same slant. So I am totally and utterly frustrated right now. I don't know what to do and I don't believe I should be having to worry about this part of the device. I, I believe that should be a precision settings and I shouldn't have to be messing with moving it around to try to get the laser straight. I need some help and I'm hoping that you will come up with a solution, please. I have done the alignment test in this video that is provided by Lightburn. And as you can see, the video shows that it is a good half inch off on the right and the upper part. So I need to know how to fix that as well. I redrew the drawing you used to align your camera in the video you sent me. And I used it to align the camera the best that I could. I ran into the same problem trying to align the camera as I experienced trying to align the base plate. You can get it into a perfect position, but then no matter how hard you are holding it, when you start to screw the screws tight, it will move on you. The curious part is the first four boxes align just fine, but starting with the fifth box, each one skews a bit more out to the tenth box. Now I decided to do the cut test. How is this possible? How is each one of these cut different. Now I can see if they were all to the right or all to the left or all to the top or the bottom, but how on earth is one of them okay except for at the top, a second one okay except for at the left side, the circle completely off? This makes no sense. It is not logical. The laser is not following the line. Last but not least, we should still be able to use absolute coordinates. So I decided to make a video to see if we can use absolute coordinates. 
I am sure I am not the only person that is going to experience this. And this is a problem that is going to have to be solved. Because I'm not wanting a refund. I want a working 20 watt and a working 40 watt laser that I can depend on for accuracy. And as you can see here, you can't even use absolute coordinates. This is a problem. And I'm willing to help you solve it, or at least do the things that you asked me to do to try to solve it. Since I retired, I started doing tutorials. And I chose your laser system to do my tutorials on laser crafting. And I want to continue that. I just have a little less time than most of your clients. So I would like to solve this as soon as possible. This was our last communication. Now in this communication, they are saying that they are unable to solve the problem and that they are more than willing to proceed with my return request. They didn't say refund. They said proceed with the return request. And then on number three, they stated, we'll issue a refund once the package is returned and inspected by our staff. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, that leaves it wide open for them to say, we're not going to give you your money back. Because if I send the laser back to them, then I've still got the $650 bail to pay. So I decided to keep the laser and just let you know what to look for if you do purchase the 40 watt you may experience the exact same thing that I did I don't know this might have been a issue that was just my machine but I don't believe it was I honestly believe that they intended to sell a 20 watt laser machine and a 40 watt laser machine I do not believe they intended for someone to buy the 20 watt and then buy the 40 watt to put in it because when I got the laser they sent it to me in just a kind of like a Walmart bag. And then on top of that, once I contacted them, they went, oh, we forgot to give you the power supply and the locking mechanism, which took another 10 days to get. So they didn't even expect to send it. Anyway, this is the rest of the review. I hope you understand. I'm not demeaning the company. I like their machine. I like the 20 watt. Works great, or I hope it does when I go back to it. I just wanted to let you know what was going on with the 40 watt, or at least on my end. Hope you have a great day. Diana. Just so you know, it does cut through 5 eighths inch. This is one pass through 5 eighths of an inch, and it did miss the, the bottom eighth of an inch. I think if you had done two passes, it probably would have just cut it smooth through. It does nearly cut five-eighths of an inch clean through in one pass.